Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some packing tips for a cruise. How weird, right? Me doing that. But believe it or not, I actually got told off royally by my sister for not being clear about how to pack for a cruise when she took her first ever cruise last year. So it got me thinking that maybe more of you out there get butterflies and the heebie-jeebies about packing. Before we pack like pros, please do give this a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on on notifications for my bi-weekly travel vlogs. So fear not, behold, I am gonna talk you through the process as I pack ready for a springtime round trip cruising from Southampton, UK to Southern France, Spain and Italy. And please don't judge me for my choice of clothes. I bet you have a few monsters in your closets too. Firstly, be aware that today we are packing like pros for a round cruise trip, not a fly cruise. I'll show you my tips for that later this year. This means that essentially you can take as many cases as you like. Thank you, Jesus. But do check the cruise line's weight restrictions. These are in place to help luggage handlers to manage your hefty loads and to stop from breaking their backs. Hashtag be kind to luggage handlers. For this P&O UK cruise, the weight restriction is set at 23 kilograms per bag. How many bags will you need? Well, it depends on the length of your cruise, the kind of weather you can expect, the number of travelers and your personal needs. Likewise, do you have any formal nights to dress for? Will you be working and therefore need laptops or whichever relevant devices? Lastly, will you be taking any soft drinks or soda on board? Some cruise lines allow alcohol too. So today I'm packing for a two week Mediterranean cruise from Southampton, UK in April. This means we can expect variable weather conditions and temperatures, meaning we'll need to pack for two different climes. In addition, there will be two formal nights over the fortnight, which we've decided we'll take part in, and p and also allow each adult in a cabin to bring a litre of alcohol on board. We have a balcony cabin and we love having a cheeky little drink when we're getting ready and on our balcony before heading out for our evening. So let's get to the packing. We have been super fortunate. This case was gifted to us by level8cases.com and we genuinely love it. Level 8 specializes in luxury luggage, organizers, backpacks and luggage labels and this particular case has all sorts of features. For example, and listen to me with my technical talk. The polycarbonate hard shell material is durable and lightweight, plus it's scratch resistant, thank goodness. There's a TSA approved combination lock for additional security. The ultra quiet 360 durable spinner wheels feature an anti-shock design and the interior compression system functions as a built-in organizer, fabulous. This case also comes with a built-in waterproof pocket. If you are interested in any of the products at level8cases.com, use my unique code JAMIE10. Oh my God, I love that. JAMIE10 for a 10% discount. And look how cool this organizer is. You've got different compartments here, but what I love about this is you've got these separate labels that you can actually attach using the felt to the different compartments. So that's where I might put my liquids, I uh, might put some of my t-shirts or my smalls in here because obviously I'm tiny, so they'll all fit in there. I think that's awesome. So let me talk you through part of our crazy planning stage for packing. Make sure you have all your devices, power banks and chargers. You're not allowed to take extension leads on most cruise lines, so we find these adapters to be very handy. Towel clips are very handy in windy conditions, not to mention to be able to find your lounger in busy times. And yes, we're those annoying passengers who take magnets on board. Indeed, those cabin walls are magnetized, so we like to pin up our daily newsletters. If you're heading into the pools or at the sea, don't forget your waterproof phone case. We find a drawstring bag lightweight and practical for your essentials when heading to the pool. Rather than fiddling around with those pesky luggage labels, we find these luggage tags from Amazon to be easy to use and durable. Don't forget all your products, but if you are traveling light, shampoo, conditioner and body wash are available in your cabins. I have this lightweight selfie stick which also functions as a tripod. 
don't leave home without your passports, boarding pass and proof of travel insurance. We keep everything in these handy little files. Sunglasses, reading glasses and earplugs are a must. If you take medication, make sure you pack more than needed in case of unforeseen delays. And make sure you keep this in your hand luggage. We'll be taking on board our one litre of alcohol each and some soft drinks. This handy little squirty squash is also great to have in your cabin, especially if you've got kids. Um, no, we don't have kids. We just love it. Many cruise ships these days have water fountains on passenger decks, so make sure you pack your water bottles. Now, we love a bit of home from home on our cruises, so we always take an air freshener for the bathroom and a reed diffuser for the bedroom. Why? Because we can. And if you're not a fan of ironing, like myself, don't forget your crease release for your clothes. Just don't squirt it in your mouth. If you're on a longer cruise and might need to do some laundry, my advice is that you take your own favourite washing taps. These are watermelon, by the way. Nom nom nom. Don't forget to take your portable disco lights for those cabin parties. On a more serious note, you may not see your luggage until later in the day, so you're going to need some carry-on essentials. Make sure you keep documentation with you, your medication, your chargers, electronic devices and power banks, your glasses. Might seem like a strange one, but your swimwear. Who knows when you'll want to splish splash on embarkation day. And finally, a few essentials in case you need to freshen up when you board. And that's our carry-on ready to go. And here are my tips for packing for the main event. First up, we're going to use those organisers to pack our liquids. And next, we're going to separate out our footwear. And call me old fashioned, but I still pack my socks inside my shoes, not just to save space, but to make sure they don't get crushed. And as if by magic, those organised fit perfectly into the case. And zip it up. When it comes to the clothes, yes, I have a method. Marie Kondo has nothing on me. I think it helps with unpacking to categorise by comfies, your smalls, anything with a collar, your t-shirts, anything with a hood, and finally trousers and shorts. So I'm popping my shirts into this compartment to try and minimise creasing. And to help hold them in place, I put my comfies or pyjamas on top of those. Next in, t-shirts, anything with a hood. Finally, the shorts and trousers, which I'm very happy to be towards the top of the case. If you're taking alcohol on board, you can of course put this in your hand luggage, but that's quite heavy. Otherwise, place it into a carrier bag, wrap it up, and then place between some of your clothing in the case. And formal wear. Well, this one might be quite controversial actually. So I place my trousers, jacket, shirts, and tie all onto one coat hanger, pop it in a suit carrier, zip it up, fold it up, and shock horror, yep, I place it straight into our case. You're not actually allowed to check in thin suit carriers such as this one, as they run the risk of being damaged. And personally, I don't want to be carrying this around me, along with my hand luggage, whilst waiting to access a cabin on board. Drum roll. Does it fit? Yes, it does. Perfect. Even when full, this case is highly manoeuvrable. Look at that, spinnies. And attach those luggage tags. And just like that, we're good to roll. And that's it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope it's been useful. Hope you get packing. Before you disappear, please drop your comments below. What are your top packing tips and hacks? I want to hear from you. As always, please don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Ooh. Oh my goodness, don't forget to follow. We are going on a two week med cruise. Get subscribing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you all. See you soon. Thanks for putting up with me and thank you for your support.